Hi, my name's Rebecca, and this beautiful building is where I get to work. I'm a manager of informal education at Cincinnati Museum Center, which means the world is my classroom. I wanted my National Geographic program to talk about how important the Ohio River has always been to the region, and its continued significance makes it extremely important that we take care of one of the country's most polluted river systems. This is the Ohio River. It runs 981 miles across six states. Historically, the river played a major role in shaping the region. Large quantities of cargo are still transported on the Ohio River, and it provides a lot of research about conservation, invasive species, and it's one of the most diverse and thriving ecosystems in a North American river with freshwater mussels and over 160 species of fish. National Geographic's learning framework, I wanted to create an activity where children can see their potential to reverse water pollution. My solution was to create a homemade bios whale and observe the natural purification process. I started with a basic question, who is responsible for keeping the Ohio River clean? I expected a lot of answers along the lines of, I don't know, with the intent to ask it again at the end of the program to demonstrate comprehension. Instead, I was surprised that many kids already knew the answer I was looking for, which is everyone. I changed my assessment to then ask, okay, well how do we get the river clean? That's where I stumped them. Some of my favorite answers included, we'll just pick everything out, and well, you can evaporate the water to separate the trash into one layer and then separate the water and evaporate it again. The first step is to pollute our water. We added plastic beads, aluminum foil, feathers, grass, litter, and dirt. While the kids helped me, we talked about the different causes of pollution, such as factory drainage, runoff from urban development and agricultural activities, non-point pollutants, and political exemptions for factory restrictions. I then asked questions like, if you were a fish, would you want to live in this? And, can we make this clean again? Our example represents stormwater. When it rains, the water goes over everything. In Cincinnati, when our sewer systems are overwhelmed, most storm drains bypass treatment and lead to the closest creek or stream, which heads right to the river. Bioswales are a natural filtration system, and now we get to test it. The flowers immediately caught most of the trash, while the other layers caught the dirt and glitter. After letting the water drain, we used our powers of observation to draw conclusions about the clean water. Bioswales are just one way we can help with water pollution. My goal was to cultivate attitudes of empowerment and responsibility towards our diverse ecological system. I asked participants again, who is responsible for keeping the river clean? And encouraged them to tell me a different way they can take action. If they struggle to find an answer, I have my hydro heroes here to help with problem solving skills, representing how there are multiple solutions and many ways to contribute. Kids can then decide on their own what they would like to do to make a difference and color a badge with their pledge. Through this program, we learned about the human journey and wildlife and wild places. Students identified the costs of historic and ongoing demands placed on this diverse ecological system. We learned how these actions impacted animals and plant habitats that can similarly minimize negative consequences. The primary connection between the local and regional scales remains in recognizing the ways the community can be involved in caring for the Ohio River. The pollution issues being faced are not isolated to Cincinnati, and actions taken on an individual or local level can lead to major improvements regionally. The badges symbolize their commitment to action, demonstrating that they understand their role in improving the river's health and caring for the environment. I decided to participate in National Geographic certification because I wanted to learn how to be a better educator. This opportunity helped me discover new ways to educate all of the diverse audiences and age levels who come through Cincinnati Museum Center's doors, but also connected me with innovative resources and approaches to empower our guests to take care of the environment. I look forward to sharing these tools with my staff and promoting National Geographic standards throughout our community.